New tonight, an Indianapolis neighborhood is upset after finding racist flyers left in front of their homes. Our David McAnally on how they try to protect their kids from the hateful messages and who they're now calling on to take action. Families live here. This quiet mobile home park off Franklin Road on the southeast side, kids find it a good place to play. Some parents found something else. These are just flyers that we found this morning when we all woke up. Pretty much hate propaganda. So hate-filled, Lydia says, she and her neighbor Dan and others. I tried to collect up as many as we could so our children, because we are a community of many races, and I didn't want any of them to wake up to see such hateful things on their way to school. Whoever organized the hate literature drop wanted to make sure their message reached their target. They put rocks so the wind wouldn't blow them away. You know, they folded it, put their business cards in it. I didn't like it. Uh, just like she said, you know, there's all races here in this community. And it's a decent community. And stuff like that is just, it's totally ridiculous. In the packet, a flyer with a symbol similar to that of the KKK, a hooded figure on horseback, reading, quote, Reclaim your former glory. Thank you for calling the East Coast Knights of the True and Visible Empire. We call the number on the business card in the packet. It appears to be an answering machine in Pennsylvania. Why did your organization target this neighborhood from this mother of a biracial teen? The way hate spread. We need the hate crime law here in Indiana. Since Nazi symbols were painted at a Carmel synagogue last month, there are renewed calls for hate crime legislation. Indiana is one of just five states that don't have the law on the books. Government officials really need to step up and make sure we're all safe. David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. The same group listed on those flyers was named in a similar handout that showed up in downtown earlier this year. The Marion County Young Democrats tweeted these photos in February showing the white pride flowers, fly, flyers, I should say, found on Monument Circle. They were attributed to the East Coast Knights of the True Invisible Empire, which the Southern Poverty Law Center calls an active hate group.